Hey, a pleasant good morning, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Good Work. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or up above on the easy use widget to help us get to 200 by the end of the month. This is going to be the next video on the women's prelim as we are talking about Czech Republic beating Sweden 3 to 1 as Sweden was not able <coughs> to stay in this game to at least get it to OT due to faults that they made and mistakes that they made during the process of the game that really stood out more than most games that you watch. Um, but let's get right into it. Uh, the Czech Republic played absolutely beautiful um, in this game as there was a beautiful cut by Vanasova as she was able to score her first goal while falling, which was an absolutely immaculate goal. Uh, that was an absolutely silky clean deke right there. And then at the end of the first, Sweden missed a wide open net. I think it was Limblum, but like she missed a wide open net that would have made it tied then and made it be potentially a different game. And when the shorthanded goal that they allowed to the Czech Republic was a steal in the offensive zone, the Sweden was trying to serve on the power play. They got it taken, a shorthanded break that ends up being scored, and they go through the five hole, and that's that. Um, as then the Czech Republic's up two to nothing with the one goal being on Sweden's power play, uh, which is obviously uh, inexcusable, especially when you turn the puck over at the line and it goes back the other way. And then the third goal was the opposite. You were in the, the Sweden was trying to exit their defensive zone, get it turned over to Vanasova, and Vanasova makes a silky clean move again and is able to score on Sweden. So Vanasova's obviously, um, hands down, uh, a player of this game. Uh, th that is no question about it. Uh, Terenza Vanasova is the top player of this game. She scored the ridiculous falling goal at the beginning and then got a steal and was able to score. And th there's no question that she's definitely um, a player of this game for sure. When it comes to the stats, Sweden uh, got outshot 46-28. to 28. So by the shots, it looks like they did get murdered in the game. But when you look at the damning mistakes that stood out, they could have it could have been 3-2 if they hit that goal right that was wide open empty net, and if they didn't have turnovers at the blue line, especially when it's on your power play, it could have at least been 2-2 if you were able to capitalize on the power play, or at least not have them score that, and you scored the empty netter one at the end of the first when the net was left open, it would have been 2-2 anyway, so there's like moments that really stand out more damning than most games for Sweden that they made the mistakes where in other games it would be like, oh, they just weren't able to control the puck enough or they were their possession numbers stunk or they lost the puck every time they entered the neutral zone where these were like straight up just play mistakes that led to the Czech Republic being able to stay undefeated in their first tournament. They're playing absolutely swimmingly. I would give them an A for their first two games, honestly, combined into one, like, aver like, like putting the first two games, averaging them out. I would have to give them an A in the tournament this far because they're playing very well. But Sweden could have had this one if they were able to capitalize on that goal at the end first <coughs> and play better at both blue lines. Their play was really bad at both blue lines, and that's what cost them in this game. But in, com er, in the other end of things, the Czech Republic, I should say, was able to play very well. Pezlarova played amazing. Soderberg, I think, played pretty well in net as well as she played a good game for Sweden. Uh, well, actually, a very good game. She played very well. She's a player of the game, honestly. And then Vanasova is the top player of the game. I would put uh, Soderberg as the third player of the game. And then Pezlarova would be in there as the second. Uh, Vanasova set the tempo for Czech Republic, and they never looked back. They were able to get this win 3-1 to one as they try to keep their tide going in the winning ways as they stay, or try to stay, excuse me, undefeated in the Olympic tournament. Peace out, everybody. Please subscribe down below or above on the easy to use widget to keep the channel growing. Enjoy the hockey and enjoy the rest of the Olympic games that you're putting your eyeballs on. Peace out, everyone.